Listen, I know this series is usually light and fun, but this play is very serious, so I feel it best to put a content warning before this episode because we will be dealing with heavy topics like slavery and racism and slurs, and it, this is just very heavy. This play contains a lot of not so great things, so proceed with caution. Hi friends! Welcome to another episode of Stuff Full Reviews, the show where I review plays, movies, and more in the company of my fluffy friends. Today, we will be looking at the play The Octoroon. The play was written by Dion Bukakult, who was an Irish playwright slash actor who toured the U.S. with his actress wife. The play opened in 1859 at the Winter Garden Theater in New York City. The play centers around the fictional Louisiana plantation of Terrebonne and how money problems, along with racism, drive it to ruin. The main characters are George Payton, the wealthy de facto owner of the plantation, Scudder, the Yankee who tries to set things right, McCloskey, the rich lawyer who will stop at nothing to achieve his goal, and Zoe, the octoroon in question. The theme of this play is the importance of racial identification and the discrimination based on the tiniest bit of unpure blood. The tragic mulatto is the archetypal mixed race character who is assumed to be depressed or even suicidal because they fail to completely fit in with the white world or the black world. As such, this character is the victim of a society that is divided by race, where there is no such place for someone who is not completely black or white. Zoe is our tragic mulatto because her life falls apart when it is revealed that she is one-eighth black. She is put up on the auction stand along with all the other slaves of Teravon, and she resorts to killing herself in order to finally be at peace. Now what did I, or rather, what did we, think of the play? This play was extremely hard to read. It was easy for me to understand, but it was morally difficult for me to read it aloud with my friends without cringing and shriveling up inside. I think what hit me the hardest was the casual racism in the stage directions as well as the lines. The characters of color are referred to in the stage directions with slurs and demeaning names. It was hard to read even those without getting angry or upset. The saving grace of this play would have to be the character of Scudder. He at least tries to do right by the people of color and punish the racist McCloskey for his wrongdoings. I think you have to be in the right mindset to read or watch this play. It's very hard to stomach. At the same time, I think it's important to look at this play through our 21st century lens and see how far we've come in terms of representation for people of color on stage. Well, that does it for another episode of Stuff Full Reviews. Take care, and I will see you next time. Bye bye Well, here we go. Dismantling systemic racism. One stuffed animal at a time.